What's well, about time? Be nice. I come bearing snacks. <laughs> Lynette, these cards are sticky. I know. Preston used the three of diamonds to scoop jam out of the jar. Well, we're just thankful we have 49 cards to play with. Hello. Sorry. Hey. Hey. So, Susan, I was just telling the girls I want to throw a dinner party. Really? Yes. I mean, how long have we all lived on this street? We've never done a big group thing. I think it's a great idea. Paul never likes to have people over, but to heck with him, I'm doing it. <laughs> so when is this shindig? How about a month from tonight? That would be the 16th. Good for everyone? Yeah. Works for me. Right. Should we all make something? Oh, no. No, this is my party. I've been wanting to have everyone over for years. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we're finally doing this. It's going to be so much fun. Hey! I know. Our dinner. How could we have all forgotten about this? We didn't exactly forget. It's just usually when the hostess dies, the party's off. I'm not. I'm not being flip. I'm just pointing out a reality. Mary Alice was so excited about it. It's so sad. I think we should go through with it. Really? Wouldn't that be in poor taste? No, it's sort of a way to honor Mary Alice. It was so important to her. We could all use a fun night. Well, good. Because I have some new flatware that I've just been dying to show off. Lynette? I'm in. I'll make braised lamb shanks. I'm still in. So how many will I be cooking for? Seven. Three couples and Susan. Does that sound right? No, it sounds very, very wrong. Oh. <laughs> Is there somebody you'd like to invite? I have an idea. <sighs> A dinner party. Honey, I may be working late. The Dillman proposal is a complete mess. No, no, you promised to be home every night this week. I'll try, but I can't guarantee anything. This is business. Yeah, says the prince as he rides off into the sunset. Boy, did the movies ever get that wrong? You know what your problem is? You're very tense. You should go to a spa or go shopping and find a way to relax. Where are you? Algebra. You free at four? I'm not sure. I got track after school. We'll get here as fast as you can. My husband says I need to relax. You, uh, want me to keep my gym clothes on like last time? If you would, please. A dinner party? Yeah, it'll be fun. Breeze cooking, everyone's coming. You know what? I haven't even had a chance to unpack yet, honey. I just, uh, I just need to chill out for the next few days. Oh, Tom, there'll be liquor and hors d'oeuvres and grown-ups without children and, and, and silverware. Remember silverware? Honey, can you take this in for me? Have you heard anything I just said? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm wiped out. Three cities in six days. My head is just pounding. I'm not ready for a dinner party. I already got a sitter. Can you cancel her? <sighs> Please? Look, let's just stay in tomorrow night. We can get a bottle of wine and rent a video and I... I just want to hang out with my best gal. That's all. I was looking so forward to a night out. I know, sweetie. I'm sorry, but I, I'm beat. I mean, do you remember what it's like to work a 60-hour week? A dinner party? Do I have to go? Well, given that we're hosting it, I'd say so. By the way, you won't be drinking at this party. Well, why is that? Because when you drink, you get chatty. No one needs to know that we're seeing Dr. Goldfine. You know, if you spent half as much time working on our problems as you do covering them... Not a drop! You know, this this is ridiculous. And th this whole thing about us taking tennis lessons... Well, the nurses at your office may start wondering why you're disappearing three times a week. Tennis lessons are a plausible alibi. Uh, so these tennis lessons we're taking... How are we doing? My backhand's improving immensely, but you're still having problems with your serve. Of course. 